guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm here today, obviously, to do my 36 week pregnancy update. Of course, I am 36 weeks pregnant today. And today we have uh, Joshua joining us again. As I'm sure you're all aware, there is always one child joining me in my videos. I can never get them both to sleep at the same time. So one at a time's good, you know, better than nothing, I suppose. But yeah, 36 weeks pregnant today and we are in that final stretch. I just, I can't believe how quick it's gone. You waving, say hi. So yeah, I just, I can't believe how quick it's gone. It's been absolutely ridiculous. Um, I remember saying, you know, in previous updates that it was going really slow and suddenly it's just, it, it's gone so fast and we're at the end now and it's, it's just hard to believe that we're already at the end. So yeah, we're at the end and it's just ridiculous how fast we got here but I'm really glad that we're at the end now just because I am definitely over being pregnant now um yeah I'm just I'm done I'm ready to have this baby yeah I think it's I think it's the weather it's it's just been so hot and muggy and obviously with all this extra weight it it doesn't help matters and it, it makes me more aggy and obviously with my hormones being all, all over the place anyway <coughs> it doesn't make things any easier for um, everyone in close proximity to me but not long to go and I know that so um, as far as updates go um, the past week has been eventful maybe we had an episode of reduced movement on last monday so what so we was 35 weeks and one day and i hadn't felt a move all day so um i'd waited until darren had got home i'd i'd, I'd felt her move obviously but um just not like she normally would so I waited till Darren got home and when I knew that Darren had finished work and was on his way home I rang triage and they said that just to go straight in normally I know that when you ring they say you know do this do that um, loads of different things to do to try and get the baby to move um, but they didn't say anything like that to me, they just they just told me to go straight in. So we went in and it was probably about seven o'clock when we got there. Oh careful. And it took us it just took us so long to be seen. It took us a good half hour, forty five minutes to be seen in triage, um, to get on the CTG. Then obviously we had the CTG, um, and I think we were on there for about twenty, twenty five minutes. And then after that, it was just the longest wait yeah. ever. They had to wait around for the consultant, speak to the consultant, come and tell us what the consultant had said, yeah. and then go back and relay that information back to the consultant. Why the consultant just didn't, couldn't just come and talk to us, I don't know. But there was only one doctor on yeah. the whole night, um, which was ridiculous just because it just took so long. And obviously, we had these two with us. And they just, they were fussing because they wanted their bed. And obviously I, I kept telling Darren, just go home. Um, you know, I'll get a taxi home and whatnot. But he didn't want to leave in case they said, well, we need to sort something out, blah, 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 blah. But we spoke to the, so in between seeing the doctor and them going and relaying the information back, there was a good half an hour 45 minutes where we was just left waiting around so we went to find out what was happening we went to ask and they said that the doctor had been called into theatre and no one had like, bothered to tell us so we was just waiting around for nothing really um, and then they came back and they just told us that because we had the LV and Doppler scan booked in for the Thursday they was going to move it forward till 
to the next day, so obviously on the Tuesday, um, and we'd have a CTG done on the Tuesday as well. And to go home, that they was happy with the heart rate and the movements that I had. Um, oh, what's the word? That I, I, when you do your CTG, you get that little button thing to press, and they said they was happy with all that, so she couldn't have been too bad. But um, we went for the Alvin doctor scan <coughs> on the Tuesday and everything was fine, blood flow was fine, placenta was fine, um, water level was fine. So there wasn't anything to worry about, they just think that she was just being quiet and just having a lazy day really. So um, they didn't run another trace, they just said you can go home. Uh, they said that if her movements didn't pick back up, then I was to go for the Alvin doctor scan again on Thursday. But she was alright, she was fine, so I just cancelled that appointment and we didn't need to go again. So it was eventful and obviously we had the Alvin doctor scan earlier than we normally would have. But everything was fine, so we're alright in that aspect. So yeah, it was a fun Monday night. So um, yeah, as far as symptoms go, it hasn't been the nicest week for symptoms. Obviously, I've still got... <coughs> Obviously, I've still got this stupid heartburn that won't go. Um, I have tried excluding garlic from my diet, but it just doesn't happen because I do like garlic a lot, so... It's really annoying that I get, I'm getting heartburn from garlic, but what can I do? I either stop it or I just live with it. So I'm just living with it at the moment. <coughs> what? <laughs> uh, obviously, if you get backache, backache is still like number one bad pregnancy symptom. Um... Gone. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did you fall over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah, there's backache. Um and then to accompany the backache, I now get achy shoulders, achy hips, and achy knees. So if you're not aware, I already suffer with restless leg syndrome anyway. So during pregnancy it just intensifies and it gets worse so these new aches that I've got just feel like I've got restless leg syndrome everywhere and the only thing that I've found really helps is just to constantly move them they're only really noticeable at night but obviously that's because I'm constantly active during the day so at night I feel it 10 times more and it is interfering with my sleep now. I can't sleep and when I do sleep I'm getting woken up because I'm in pain and it aches and it's uncomfortable and it's just horrible. So I've never had a pregnancy that's made me like deprived of sleep. So this is something new for me but it's, do you know what I mean? Like I'm at the end now so it's not that bad but it is bad at the same time if you know what I mean especially when I've got these two to look after and they don't sleep as it is so yeah um, I am out getting out of breath now I know I said in previous updates that I wasn't I was fine with my breathing and stuff but it's hit me now um, only in the past couple of days and I am struggling to breathe when I talk or when I walk and stuff like that so yeah that's just not fun anymore I, I don't feel that up here as much as I did these two but I can definitely tell that everything's up here now just because I can't breathe so that's fun I have my hospital bag packed well I say my bag packed I have everything that I need for my hospital bag I just don't have the bag for it um, the bag that I used with Joshua 
it 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 wasn't it was a bit bigger than like a cabin suitcase but i think that that's going to be too big to use for what i've got now because i have literally just gone minimal like i've packed what i will use there and then i haven't packed any extras or anything like that so i think it's going to be too big so i'm gonna to have to find another bag. i know that my dad does have um some big cabin suitcase some big some small cabin suitcases that i can use but he's currently using them on holiday at the moment so i'll have to wait for him to get back um and see if i can borrow one of them once i've got the bag or what the holder or whatever i can obviously then show you guys what i've packed in my hospital bag um as far as baby's hospital bags are going i have everything that i need now apart from water wipes just need to get some water wipes um so once we've got the water wipe now oh he bit me <laughs> ow no biting but yeah once i've got the water wipes um i'll show you I'll, obviously I'll, I'll i'll do a video about what what i've put in there and you can all see the cute clothes that we've bought so there's that um i have a final well i say final i'm hoping it's my final growth scan on thursday so i'll be 36 and four days and hopefully that will be our last one they did say last time that we'd get an induction date then are you just messing up everything in my bedroom <laughs> they yeah they said that they would give us an induction date at that growth scan at that scan or at that consultant appointment um so that's what i'm hoping for because uh, they said that they want to induce between 37 and 38 weeks obviously next week i'm 37 weeks so hopefully they will sort that out so i don't have very long left to do hospital bags anyway so i need to get that done like sharpish but yeah there's there's that um i don't really think there's much else to update on um everyone's everyone's just getting excited now everyone wants to know baby names um we haven't even decided on a baby name yet um we didn't with joshua either obviously we didn't you know we didn't know that he was going to be if he was going to be a boy or a girl so um we had to think of two we had to think of you know both gender names and we just we picked his name when he was born so we'll probably do that this time just because it's a bit easier and we are struggling to pick names as it is <laughs> ah, keep no keep those teeth to yourself um just trying to think if there's anything else that i can tell you but i don't think there is should we leave it there yeah should we leave it there so yeah oh so yeah we're gonna leave it there and we i will obviously update you at 37 weeks because hopefully that will be my last pregnancy update will you stop blooming biting that'll be my last pregnancy update um that's what i'm hoping for anyway so so yeah i'll leave it there and i will see you guys next week for my 37 week pregnancy update bye oh i forgot i'll show you a bump shot before we go anywhere if joshua moves out the way so i don't know if you can see it very well but this is the 36 week bump And then obviously with the top up. So she's still sitting quite high, but um she's not as high as Kira or Joshua was. <laughs>